Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to walk you through the new appointment options inside the if-else conditions inside of workflows. There are three new options to choose from. Number one, appointment rescheduled. Number two, start date. And number three, end date. And you can implement these appointment actions inside the if-else condition if you've set one of those two triggers or both, which is one, appointment status, and number two, booked appointment. Let me show you how you can set this up. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if people reschedule appointments that didn't show up, they didn't make it to the call, they rescheduled, then they don't show up maybe again, you can implement different work workflows to follow up an email sequence, an SMS sequence, maybe even a WhatsApp sequence to make them rebook the appointment or to show up for the next call. This will streamline your operations and reduce manual intervention. Let me show you how it works. So I'll first click on automation on the left, select workflows at the top, click on create new workflow or select one in question. Then under triggers, like I said, there's two, right? Number one is customer booked an appointment or number two appointment status. Now click the plus icon, type if else, and here under the first branch, click the drop down menu and select appointment. Here you can see the three options, rescheduled, start date or end date. Let's select rescheduled. Let's click the drop down menu here. Is true or false? Hey, if she, he or she rescheduled, select true. If he or she did not reschedule, click false, okay? So let's say they rescheduled true. Let's rename the branch as well. And then let's add another branch and let's name it rescheduled false. Let's hit select appointment rescheduled false. Then hit save. Ta-da! And here we go. Here you have now your triggers. Hey, somebody booked an appointment or the appointment status has changed is any appointment status right now, right? Then implement the if else condition and filter through all the appointments that have been booked. Of course, you can also filter before this step, you could filter, hey, did she or he or she show up? If they didn't show up, then filter for, hey, did they reschedule or did they not reschedule, right? Now let's set the condition to the start or end date, for example. Instead of reschedule, you can say, hey, the start date is, is not, is not empty or is empty. Let's select is. And let's say the start date was yesterday, for example, right? Let's select that. Let's get rid of this branch here. Let's rename the branch. Start date yesterday, hit save. And then here you have to condition, hey, everyone whose start date was yesterday goes into this branch and everyone else goes into that branch. Now this comes in really handy if you have specific promotions going, for example, Black Friday, right? Hey, if the schedule appointments end date, for example, is today and today you're wrapping up your Black Friday promotion and then you can continue to assign different salespeople to these people or a different project manager, for example, who just takes care of that one particular Black Friday promotion where people need to book a call with you in order to understand more about that product, for example. And that's it already. This is how you can implement the appointment options inside the if-else condition inside your workflows. I hope you like this new feature and I'll see you in the next video.